What's up guys, this is the first automobile we're shooting in Baku and this automobile is called a BMW M6 Grand Coupe. And what did they make it for, you may ask? The thing is that first they made a BMW M5 F10 and put their 4.4 liter engine in it. That's right, the same old 4.4 liter engine that is more than 20 years old. The guys from BMW refused to spend money on new engines. These guys simply upgraded every time and this time they made it stronger and put two turbines. And this is how they are trying to survive until now. For all this time, BMW never did a single good engine, except maybe that new 3-liter diesel engine, the one that has three turbines. This was the only new development that they were so kind to spend their money on. So, they used to have an M5 F10, and they used to have a 6. And people bought 6 because it was really beautiful. Even I consider it beautiful myself. And also, people always used to buy M5s. The fans of the brand always buy new cars instead of old ones, even despite this engine that is really difficult to maintain. And still we buy these cars anyway, and now they made this Grand Coupe. So let's start with the front of the car, I'm gonna open the hood and look what they have done there. And as I expected, they did nothing here, it's the same old 4.4 liter engine with two turbines in front intercoolers. And that's it, it's the same BMW M5 in F10 body, there is nothing more to see here. When our Russian national currency was stable, the BMW M6 F13 was two times more expensive than the BMW M5 F10. And I don't understand why a stock M5 costed 4.6 million, while the coupe used to cost almost 9 million. That's twice the price, even despite they were almost identical, they were having same transmissions and same engines. I really like a lot the front of this automobile. And by the way, this car has same brakes, same brake discs, and it has same calipers. Yes, this car has different shapes and a different name, it's called a Grand Coupe. No. The trunk of this car gets opened in a very interesting manner. Like this. But there is no closing button. By the way, this automobile has a tuned Super Sprint exhaust system and it makes much more noise, but the software cannot fool the lambda sensor. That is why it doesn't make this car any faster. Of course, until it gets a chip tuning. I would call the main feature of this body this central pillar. I find it very beautiful. And also this huge carbon roof. Finally, BMW learned how to make carbon elements. But anyway, it's too early to judge, because I'm still waiting for a BMW i8. That car is definitely going to have lots of carbon elements. By the way, the stock color of this car is black. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm not having any emotions about this car. At first, I was thinking that this Grand Coupe is going to be extraordinary and amazing, but it turns to be just a regular car, usual and casual. I would better buy an M5 for myself, I mean the F10 buddy, because I don't see any difference, it's not all-wheel drive, because this robotic transmission wouldn't handle the all-wheel drive. But that's the only difference this car has, everything else is the same. The guys from BMW have to understand that if they make a more expensive car, it must bring some new experience, but this car doesn't. 
if I, for example, bought this car before I bought a regular BMW M5 F10, I would be so disappointed, for sure. Simply because I bought the same car but twice more expensive. Simply because it has a different shape. Simply because it has a different front and a different S. Some people may say, Davidich, this review is so boring. Tell us at least something about this car. But what should I tell about it? It doesn't have anything new that worth telling about. It's just the same M5 that we have tested like three years ago. And I told everything about that car. He has a robotic gearbox and it has the same engine, it's the same transmission and the same differential. It's all the same. There's nothing more to tell about this piece of shit. God damn it. What the hell do you want to hear about this car? Just give me the camera. I can shoot it myself. I can be a professional cameraman too. Check this out. Here we go. What's up guys? Just look at this incredibly beautiful and unique bucket with bolts. Look at this front, it's so unusual. Here are the headlights, and they are actually okay. This car is so atypical. For a BMW, goddammit, I'm so disappointed with this car, and I'm more than sure that the owner feels the same. Or maybe he is not, simply because he didn't earn the money for this car himself. He didn't buy it, his father did it, and this young good fellow is studying at the best Moscow University. And good for you, man, I wish you all the best luck. But once again, I have... A question, what the hell is this? I've just pulled it out from this car. This Chinese piece of shit that is signed as Type R. Man, are you insane? Is it so difficult to buckle up? There's the thing I don't understand. Every time when you buy such a car, you pay lots of money for the insurance. What for? For having no regrets if you crash it. Because they promise to fix it for free. That is why, am I right? Yes, I am. So why do you use this? Why do you use it when you just can buckle yourself up? This is your free life insurance. And you don't have to pay for it. You just buckle up and that's it. Guys, I promise you I'm gonna take it away from every single car we ever test. I'm taking it away and asking you. Always buckle up. And believe me. Believe me, guys, you have to buckle up. Is there any way to explain it to you, huh? I'm confiscating it and leave you no options. And if you ever see this automobile in Baku, look at this car once again and remember it. And if you ever see that the owner of this car is not buckled up, you have to show him this. Just do like this. I don't know, maybe that will help. And if he's buckled up, show this. That simple. I hope that from now on at least one man in Baku will use his seat belt. Let's roll. What I think about this car is that this is the car for those who are tired from being bandits. Tired from being bandits driving BMW's M5 in E60 body, or BMW's M5 in F10 body, or BMW's M3 in E93 body, or BMW's M3 M4. They came out in 2015. Those cars were real bandits. But the automobile I'm driving right now is not. I'd rather call this car pretty civilized. This car can be called elegant, it can be called beautiful. Um, what differs this car um, from a BMW M5 is the character. M5 is fast, arrogant, stiff, it's an uncompromising and insane car. Um, and a Grand Coupe is a regular four-door BMW 6 a very comfortable car and at the same time very beautiful and if you ask me what would I buy for myself a BMW M5 F10 or this BMW Grand Coupe I would definitely buy this Grand Coupe without a doubt and I will explain first of all because this car is not that often and the second reason is I really like these lines and I really like its front and its headlights uh... 
um, as much as I like the back of the car. What can I say, I really like the appearance of this car, I find it very beautiful. And if we talk about comfort, this car seems a little bit more comfortable than a BMW M6, simply because an M6 is a coupe and it's kind of smaller. I don't find it comfortable because there's not enough room and you always have to move your seats if you want to put someone in the back. Yes, it looks more sporty, but I wouldn't call it a car for everyday life. But if you need a car that can go fast when you need it and sometimes drive calm with your family or a car for showing off before girls. This Grand Coupe is your choice, man, for sure. This car doesn't have anything new. The climate system is similar to BMW 7. It has an NBT system. It's the very first generation of NBT system. There is no touch screen. The steering wheel is very nice and beautiful. The dashboard is not fully digital. It's same like in the M5 F10. The interior has lots of carbon fiber. It has Bang & Olufsen music. The color of the interior is red. Someday I tell you a joke about red interiors. This seat is pretty comfortable. I guess I even like it. Looks like that Range Rover also wants to participate in D3. So let me introduce you to this black stinky bucket with bolts that no one cares about. No one needs it because it always breaks down. So get off me you freak. Leave me alone and let me have fun with this beautiful BMW. Go away. No one likes you here, no one needs you, so get the hell out of here. You are unreliable because you are made of. He's showing me this, he's showing me his bow finger, this is what he's showing me. I just told his car is a piece of shit. And he says, yeah man, cool. Not interested, man. Do you know where this Range Rover is going to? That's right, to the service. Hey, what's up, lad? I do you also want to participate in D3 show? Sorry, bro, no deal. You have to know your place, I've just dumped a Range Rover. Sorry, this is not your day, man. Today we're shooting a BMW Grand Coupe, not a Lada. At first sight, I really like this car a lot. I really thought I would enjoy it. I was sure this car is going to be awesome because finally they did what I wanted. They took an M6 coupe that I also really enjoyed and considered it and still consider it very beautiful. And they mixed it with a BMW M5. That's how this car appeared. But today I can definitely say this is a Frankenstein. A Frankenstein that cost 123,000. I mean, it used to cost before dollar became so expensive. And today I'm even afraid to count how much is it in rubles. And that is the reason why we have so few of them. We do have some BMWs M6, not many of them, but they do exist. But we do have lots of M5s. And I find it a strategical mistake from a BMW company side. Because they'd better make a new engine instead of spending their money on developing this car. Just look at Audi, goddammit. They made that 4-liter engine that kills absolutely everyone. Or look at goddamn Mercedes, they made their 5.5 B-turbo engine. Okay, the old M157. Yes, this is the old engine, but they put two turbines on it and turned it into a killer. Just look at this insane E63s. They get up to 900 horsepower after the chip tuning. They are insane. They are incredibly fast, so BMW, I beg you. Please, guys, pull yourself together. What's the matter with you? Just make this new engine. Just make a goddamn new engine and make Audis and all the Mercedeses get back to their dark tight corner. Give them a pack of cheap cigarettes and just let them smoke for 20 more years. I'm addressing to the guys from BMW company. Please make a new engine for God's sake. And all the BMW fans should leave their likes under this video. And the guys from BMW company should nod their heads. Stand up and start making a new engine. Right f***ing now. My name is Eric Davidich. We are in Baku and we are here for long. Don't forget to leave your comments below and subscribe to our channel. And by the way, if you don't buckle up, you have a very small deck.
Is that enough? Yeah. 